Welcome to the second program in the Safe Lifting and Moving series presented to you in the interest of improving your knowledge and skill in the safe handling of heavy loads. In this program, you will be shown how to attach ropes and slings safely to typical loads in your work situation. Any load is a potential hazard. The security of the sling and the use of a guide rope will help minimize any risk of the load coming loose or swaying dangerously. Manila rope is often used to secure a load or to act as a guide rope. So let's begin by learning how to make some useful knots and hitches. We start with the fisherman's knot, also known as a common whipping, used mostly to tie off loose ends. For this demonstration, we shall tie off the end of a rope with yarn. Begin by looping the end of the yarn against the rope. Keeping the loop in position, start winding the yarn at a point about 40 millimeters from the rope end. When you reach a point about 10 millimeters from the rope end, feed the loose end through the loop. Pull the bottom end of the looped twine until the loop is pulled securely into the wound position. Complete the knot by cutting off the loose end to create a neat finish. In the next demonstration, we'll make the so-called half hitch used to fasten or lash a load temporarily before it is lifted or moved. Ensure that you leave some working slack, then wrap the end of the rope around the load. Pass the slack end through the space between the rope and load and pull tight. To secure the half hitch, Tie off as demonstrated with a second half hitch around the rope. The loose end is then tied off with yarn. Our next knot is known as a bowline, which is used to put an eye into the end of a rope. Begin by making a loop, a little larger than you will require, and cross the dead end over the live end, making sure you have enough working slack. Pass the end of the rope through the bottom of the loop. Under the live end of the rope and then pull back the loop. Pull the live end of the rope until a tight knot is formed. Let's watch the procedure again. Stop the tape and ask your course controller for the next practical assignment. 